If you are new here, my name is Ashley. Don't forget. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave me some likes, leave some comments, all that good stuff. You know what you're supposed to do when you be watching somebody's YouTube channel. Don't be weird. Don't be on here just looking and be less. Let's looking. And don't say that. Holla, I'm cool. If you ain't figured it out by now, I'm cool. Anyway, we are jumping into a new video. Um, it's Saturday morning, a typical Saturday morning for me, sort of, kind of. And I say sort of, kind of, because I got to work today in like two hours. But right now, we are broadcasting live from my favorite place on earth, and that is my mother freaking bed. Hi, okay. I did just want to jump on, and I got on a retainer, so if I'm talking like. Don't worry about it. Just that's what it is. I ain't take it out yet because I ain't brush my teeth. But no, for real though. Um, I'm just jumping in to say hey. I wanted to start a new video with you guys and kind of just give you a, a little bit of game, a little bit of updates of what's been going on. First, girl, I went in Target yesterday. And going in Target is a slippery slope because if you don't have a plan of action of what you're gonna get you'll you'll come out with stuff you don't necessarily need and if you are for real target girl you know you know but i just wanted to show y'all a couple of things that i picked up yesterday first tiktok definitely inspired me i went ahead and pressed go on this um what is this the thermal breath oral rinse girl i used it for the first time last night when i say my teeth felt clean like whoa more than likely i'm gonna make this a part of just my daily tooth care routine i did get the sparkle mint second y'all know that i love the salt hair um body wash like i live by it that's all i've been using i've tried native it was another one i used to use but i just got salt hair and i love them all i i can't think of any scents that i like can say that i dislike i got a little bit extra today and i went for the golden hour this oil infused nourishing body wash girl 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 it smells like coconut i don't really know what to describe this smell as but baby i used this last night girl i was in that shower like so much this the it, salt hair normally is like 12.99 this was like 14.99 they say you're gonna pay two extra dollars for this gold bottle baby the toothpaste that i use i have been using hello this one is a different one um i usually get the i want to say like the spearmint and the coke the dark green one but so far i tried the charcoal one i tried the green one and this one i absolutely love this toothpaste it's like they use um oh i don't want to be in politically correct and i know it's probably for the whole bunch of stuff that it, we ain't supposed to have no way they basically use natural um supposed to be like the peppermint spearmint and i just love this toothpaste like i buy it for phoenix i buy it for myself and yeah that was the stuff that i was supposed to get not the body not the mouthwash but that's the stuff i was supposed to get i did pick up some other little stuff but we ain't even i mean it's really not that for me to even talk about but let me show you what i did pick up and you're gonna love this one you're gonna love it over here hold on i know a lot of my girlies be saying that they want candles um so i did go for my regular schmegular candle which is this um jasmine and yang yang when i tell y'all this particular candle has me in a chokehold i get it every time it's just like i don't like fruity smelling candles but then i like like a oud i like candles that are off but this one is kind of just like a mixture it's very feminine and soft i do this one in my bedroom this ain't the big this ain't the surprise but i just wanted to show y'all if you're looking for a candle um this is my nose but I'm telling you, go give, go to Target or order it and smell it and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's like Jasmine, White Rose, and Yang Yang. I don't know what Yang Yang is, but Yang Yang me anytime, baby. I'm getting to what I really want to show y'all. Child Phoenix is in here eating breakfast. First of all, oh, 
I um we missed the deadline to get her hair braided before school, but baby, she went to Miss Karina yesterday. Y'all want to show them your hair? Huh? I'm not touching your edges. So she basically got her hair done because we did hair for the first week of school. And it reminded me of why I get her hair done. So we did get that done. But anyway, um, child, she woke up this morning. And I have to remember she's on a schedule now. So I'm laying in the bed trying to edit. And she's like, I'm hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm starving. So I had to just stop. And that's when I decided to get on with y'all. This was the big kahuna. Okay. So this candle is by heart and hand. And this scent is salt. This is a five wick candle. I'm not sure how long this thing lasts, but when I tell y'all this candle smells so freaking good, it smells like a it smells like a luxury spa. Okay. When I say this candle burns so bright, I just got it last night. It had the whole room lit. And I love that it's in like this ceramic um it's in a ceramic jar because this is already like my aesthetic of my house that mug is like $30 I ain't gonna even lie but for the case that you're getting it in and we'll see how long it lasts it's worth it to me because the way that thing smells just like I always do the jasmine and the yang yang the salt is gonna be a staple in my house so when y'all get a chance or if you know you know if you know then first of all if you know why you ain't told me but if you know drop me some comments let me know if you have smelled this candle and two go to target run up in there smell them candles and let me know what y'all think got that out the way let's let's talk girl you know i be having to update y'all on where i be at like mentally because even though this is a vlog this is like my therapy to say the least um and this is for my memory purposes i told y'all that a while ago i do these you know to entertain y'all really this is for me so this week i did make a decision um if you watched last week's video which i'm actually literally I can't even make this up. I am literally in the process of editing last week's video right now. I know lately, if y'all have been following, I've been dropping my vlogs on Sunday again. That seems to work, but I have a habit to wait until like Friday to start. And I spend my Friday, late Friday nights editing. And I really need to like be more efficient with that. But I don't know, it's just habit. I spend my Friday and Saturday to make sure y'all get the vlog on Sunday. But anyway, speaking of content, it's funny we mentioned that. Let me go ahead and jump into Girl. I have um, the I Am app on my phone. And this is basically an app that gives affirmations throughout the day. Baby, I think it's like $20 for the year. I be needing these y'all have no idea I might be having the craziest day and an affirmation will pop up on my watch and like today it says I bounce back quickly and each time I am stronger a girl the stuff it be saying it's like who is y'all like thank you but who are y'all sending me this stuff like for example this week I had one that said Things always work out in the end. I am grateful for the chance to be alive. Today is a day of new beginnings. I am grateful for health. It's just little affirmations. If you were into that, just the positive words throughout your day, you can set it up. Baby, if you wanted to send it to you every 10 minutes, however bad you need it, this app definitely um, helps me. I think I've been, I've had this app on my phone for like two years now. And you have no idea how much the little things be mattering this week i did decide to refrain from recording um any fashion content for youtube i think i explained last video that i am at this point focused on quality but then it's like i start to tap in like what does quality really mean you know quality is not just putting out a video every every you know once a week and you look cute and you get some likes for me, um, understanding what quality is. So 
I have been kind of just at like this standstill creatively because like I told you guys, I'm at a space where I'm in a fork in a row. I'm ready to uh, swerve my car in a different direction um, with what I'm doing now that I know exactly what it is that I want to show you guys in the world and what I want to represent. So um, I've been just needing to find inspiration. And it's very funny that when you put it out there to God, you put it out there to store, to source, to spirit that you need something, it falls into your lap. I, this whole time, I'm thinking that I'm needing the inspiration from other fashion girlies. No, the rappers from the people that really are hustlers, because at this point in my life, I've been a I've been hustling and I, I don't like to use that word but I feel like when you call yourself an entrepreneur you understand the art of hustle and um, I've been hustling like the last seven years so a lot of the things that like these rappers for example Nipsey Hussle like rest in peace and it's crazy because it was his birthday this week um, his brother did an interview and the interview just inspired, it reminded me that Nipsey was that guy. So I've been just like going back and watching different Nipsey Hustle interviews. And man, it's like, it just, it's like, it's just such a heavy heart because the way his brain thought, he was like the Steve Jobs of the hood, like for real. And um, just to get those notes of, hustling but but then turned it into a source of inspiration has like been helping me so i've just been quiet this week girl i have just been quiet this week i've been listening to podcasts i've been listening to interviews um another person that came up just out of nowhere a clip from lil wayne like i grew up with lil wayne at one point in time he was my favorite rapper let's just be clear lil wayne is the goat but what is very interesting about him he is first of all that nigga ain't no human that's a that's an alien his process how he thinks um how he moves it is just like not human like it's like michael jackson type stuff like they go into a trance and they go you know that is spirit speaking through them through their art and i don't know if everybody look at it that deep but that boy got like a different kind of connection with his artistry and his spirituality but and I don't even know if he realized it or maybe he do. But what was interesting, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, he was saying it, it's a known fact that like Lil Wayne does not listen to other artists. Like he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck what nobody else got going on. He is the art. He is he is the center of his life. And um, he taps in in that way. And sometimes you just have to put your blinders on you can't worry about what this person got going on you can't worry about why they doing this and why they got that you got to tap into your artistry and to yourself and i'm really talking to myself but to you you've got to tap in and go within okay and focus on yourself to really lock in and the way i am right now and after this week from the different interviews and inspiration that I've received just from a hustling nigga standpoint it's time for me to lock in on myself you know what I'm saying it's like I love my girls I be supportive and I promise y'all I watch y'all videos I be supporting but the way my life just be all over the place right now between work being a mom building this brand I'm not the one that can sit there and watch every single YouTube video but i do show my support to my girls i got a few okay lisa sykes i watch her stuff miss jones underrated love her who else i'll be watching tasha b styles she's a fashion girly y'all go check her out uh, miss piana um i don't be knowing the pages but of course i'm gonna put them here as i'm talking she is so funny like she from jacksonville too she lives here too and we have mutual friends and she is so funny who else i like right now if i gotta think that hard it ain't real you know i know they be like support who supports you and i do and unfortunately i just can't 
I just can't. I don't, I literally have to focus. I have to focus on what I'm creating right now. It's somebody else that I like. I mean, of course, like, I be watching, like, Pop the Balloon, but even that's starting to get on my nerves a little bit. Um, other than that, that's pretty much as far as YouTube go. Now, as far as Instagram goes, my muse, my top dog, number one person right now is What's Good. That girl is next level. What's good? What's good? You know what I'm saying? It is so inspirational to see how this woman has developed her. I don't even know if it's developed. Like, you got some people that, you know, they find their style. But then you got people that's born with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have people like, I feel like I'm one of those people. It's not on you. It is just in you. Like, that girl could put on a paper bag and make it look good with a pair of Nikes. I ain't never seen nothing like that. Like, I stand over her. Me and uh, Zach, we share her content amongst each other. Like, I gag when I see this girl. I gag when she makes content. She is that girl. Period. Elena is that girl. And I, I can't, like, right now, it's a lot of them that, like, resonate. But right now, she... If I had to pick somebody that's inspiring me fashion-wise, it's her. Just learning when to take a break when creating and knowing when to just get quiet um, and to just lock in. So moral of the story is sometimes you just have to lock in, put on your blinders and focus on yourself and worry about what, you know, focus on what you're doing. Um, it be sounding arrogant a little way, but it's crazy. Like he really just don't listen. But if he notices you, you doing something. And that's kind of, that's kind of how I been. And it's not like to say other people not dope. It's they're not this, they're not that. But it's like, it got to inspire me. It got to, or it's got to resonate with me. Or I got to like it for me to pay attention to it. And that's just that. You know, I scroll, I like all the time, you know, because it's genuine. But I'm talking about for me to be like, you doing something. And then you have people that give you motivation. And, you know, I just have to simply shout out my girl, Miss D. I want to say her name is like D Razzle Dazzle on Instagram. But she has been following me on YouTube for a while. And I didn't even, you don't be realizing like people rock with you until you don't do something. I think it was like one Sunday I didn't post when I was posting. So she was like, hold on, where the blog at? Like just a step beyond. Y'all have no idea like this this girl this woman this beautiful person she be in my dms she's always giving me like motivation and it's like wow it like is this the community that i'm building of people that like actually genuinely rock with me and she's always engaging always commenting but it be them dms d like girl you have no idea sometimes when you send them DMs or just like that positivity. I could be having a crazy day and I'll see that and I'll be like, dang, it's somebody like that believes in me. Even in days I don't necessarily believe in myself. You understand what I'm saying? Like just to be transparent with y'all, I often question like, did I fuck this one up? You know, I had a whole fully operating business like getting that money on. And I literally dismantled it in the last year in the name of freedom and the name of passion and the name of wanting to try something different, believing that I can have that same success, but more in a field that I enjoy and I'm passionate about. I often question like, am I just fucking this up? I do. Like I question that all the time. So when I get them DMs though, It'd be like, whoa, like, I didn't even know. It's people that rock with me that I didn't even know existed two years ago. So, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm onto something. I know I'm onto something. Like, I got this thing, me and God got this thing. We locked in. But he'll sprinkle little signs on me like that to let me know, hey, you going in the right direction. I know I did a whole lot of rambling, but hopefully you receive whatever it was but 
I'm gonna go. I don't have any plans this weekend. The only plans that I have so far is just, um, I got to go to work at 11 for like an hour and then I need to come home and just lock in and get um, some content done. And I think I'm just going to uh, hustle today, get a lot of stuff recorded. That way I can actually have my Sunday off. So I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see y'all, but I'm gonna see you when I see you. In today's episode of getting a bang for your buck when it comes to your wardrobe, we are restyling a few outfits that I have been recycling in my closet for months and in some cases years. So the rule is when you're purchasing a piece, I try to make sure that I can wear it at least three times. So if it's a situation where I cannot wear it more than three times, unless it's just like a major event, it just stay there. The goal is to get the most out of your wardrobe without having to break the bank, but still be cute. Heavy on the cute. Where I'm going calls for a very comfortable outfit. It's warm outside, but I still wanna be cute because you don't have to sacrifice cuteness for the weather. And you don't have to be out here naked either. Second go round, we are styling these Amazon pants. I just styled these completely different. Y'all went crazy over these pants and the whole outfit. I decided to completely transform the way the outfit looks and I went with this very simple go-to bubble hem top. I got this from H&M. This is definitely a piece that I have worn multiple times. It's girly, it's appropriate for the warm weather, and it's just cute. And it looks really cute with these pants, something different. I decided to make this a sneaker outfit. I went in with the Celine Banbury New Balance 574. The colorway works with these pants and they are so freaking comfortable and they're a very odd shoe you just don't see every day now i ain't gonna even cap my hair is going through some stuff right now you know that period girl when it's time for the braids to come out but you still got stuff to do so therefore we went with the baseball cap totally coordinating with the shoes the pants and the sneakers problem solved keeping the makeup and the accessories to a bare minimum but because it is sunny one of the best ways that you can accessorize without second guessing is an oversized pair of sunglasses to finish this look off we're gonna go with an oversized tote bag i personally love the neverfull and low key high key i like it because the squares match the print of my pants and that girl is how you come up with a very simple outfit, streetwear, stylish, comfortable, and perfect for the summer day. Now the real question is, girl, where are you gonna wear this at? Come, come on with me, I'm gonna show you. First of all, what's up? It is the next day. It is Sunday. It is the next day. It is the next day for when I feel. See, that's why you got to stay out my view. You be, you be in my So it's the next day. It is Sunday. And, um, okay, so boom. Yesterday, um, Saturday, after I got off, after I got off the phone with y'all, because at this point, this was, this is a, a long running FaceTime call, girl. After I got off the phone with y'all, I, um, I almost kind of went into like a depression. <laughs> because it's like sometimes i have so many ideas and things that i need to do and i'll get like really overwhelmed to where i'll shut down and yesterday i just fought through it 
like it was like so weird i fought through i got up i recorded the content i needed to literally everything um that i had planned on creating i did get it done and once i start getting into my mode and um you know editing and doing what i need to do like it just it just clicks for me so that's what i did yesterday and i ended up just making some dinner at the house girl and um today i woke up and i was like we're going to make sure that we're ready for the week and by ready for the week was make sure the house is straightened the house is clean but you know just tidying i washed clothes and i told my mom i was like i'm not leaving this house until i um i take care of my business which was making sure that the laundry was done once i did the final low i threw on some clothes and girl i ended up coming down here to it's called the jacksonville night market it's where the riverside arts market is i don't even know what time frame they do this but oh my god this was so freaking nice this is the type of stuff that i'd like to see around town i feel like jacksonville needs more of these type of events so essentially it was where the um riverside arts market is but it was nothing but black vendors and i'm gonna be honest i didn't even know what it was i didn't even plan on coming out like spending no money but a girl i just started running into people who i actually rock with like people who i support online people who support me online so it's just good to you know run into people that are doing their thing and you know i i grabbed something from some people i saw some old friends and it's just a beautiful freaking day girl it is like a beautiful day in the neighborhood so this was the perfect time and you know what i really want to take my pictures down here can you take my pictures sure okay let me pull the car over because this is really what i wanted to take a picture at. i want to get on the swing wait there's a swing yeah one thing that i do have to remember i have to balance you know the work life being a mom being a content creator in the works and i'm not gonna say in the works i am a content creator but um, I'm just trying to learn how to have balance and one thing I know that is good for my spirit and soul is just getting out of the house So just getting out with some fresh air getting my baby out the house, you know, giving her a chance to get cute Just mingling. That's like what I be needing from time to time It's actually getting kind of late, but we haven't eaten so there is this spot um, that I want to check out so we're going to go it's called purple roots I think it's like a Filipino spot so I've been wanting to, I don't know why I just look behind me. I've been wanting to go there for a while. So I'm going to grab these pictures, have Phoenix grab these pictures of me. And then I'm going to take y'all with me. I'm going to take you with us, rather. We're going to go check out the spot and see what's what. And then we got to get home because it is a school night. But shout out to Jacksonville for the night market. Uh, the cats downstairs was down there performing live music, food everywhere, people selling stuff. And I highly recommend if you in the city, um, I will try to find out. I didn't even know this was going on, girl. My mama just told me about it. Um, I'm going to find out what dates they do it. And I will definitely put it in the description. But I highly recommend that you give this a check out. Like, yeah. I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. I don't, I'm going to just call you back. <laughs> okay.
Hey girl, what is up? I'm back, calling you back. And I don't know if we gonna roll with this whole I'm talking to you on FaceTime thing. But anyway, um, it is Monday night and I just got settled in. Anyway, it's Monday night. I just got settled in, showered. Um, so typical day, I decided I do want to try to vlog with y'all more during the week to give something. I went to work today, girl. I had a long day, but it was a productive day. I had a long day. And then um, I went and got feed, came home, made dinner, did all my mom's stuff, you know, read books, all that good stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> sorry so long story short it is eight excuse me girl okay excuse me it's like almost 8 15 and as bad as i'm like tired i ain't gonna even lie i went to bed a little bit too late last night like i went to bed after 11 30 which is a big no-no because i have to get up at six o'clock in the morning to start my day so I'm like really exhausted, but I have content that I have to work on. So it's 8.15. I'm literally going to work for two hours. Y'all see it right here. Oh, wow. It's, this is actually the vlog. I just uploaded the stuff. That's her, y'all. That's her wish. That's where I'm at um, mentally as far as work goes. So I did do my research on the event that I went to yesterday and it's actually called the Jack's Night Market. So it's basically like a Riverside Arts Market but it's on a Sunday evening. I believe it happens once a month. I went ahead and threw their page up here. I strongly advise if you're in Jacksonville, find out when they're doing it again and go check it out. It was super nice, like I can't even count. I did want to shout out a couple of my girlies that was out there selling um i ain't gonna lie when i went i was not like planning on buying stuff but i started running into people that like support me online we communicate online so it's quite natural that i wanted to you know buy little knickknacks from everybody that i ran into so first i wanted to show y'all um i have been wanting to i have been like buying patches and pins i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with them but i grabbed a couple from miss thrifty rose um she is a plus size girly she does thrifting um super dope if you are looking for you know that wild side fashion that type of girl she's that girl um so i just found a couple of pins this one i'm not the type of person you should put on speakerphone <laughs> facts <laughs> oh it's not gonna focus is it Ugh. um this was phoenix this was a a picture of Jesus. What? I wanted to choose that one because it's God. It's actually Jesus, and it says I I didn't say that, and he like, girl, out. She bought this. She said because it's God. This one says protect your daughter, and it scratched out, and it says educate your son. Hello, please. Okay, and. I'm speaking for myself too. This one says bejeweled and it's basically like some cowboy boots and it's a disco ball. I don't know. I just liked it. I don't even know. And then this one was Phoenix. It was a strawberry shortcake pen. So just a couple of pens. She had so many up there. Um, so if you are looking to buy pens, I got these five for 20 i don't know if that was like a market deal but definitely check her out she has a crazy pin collection next up this is kind of like a friend of the family and when i say that i mean that literally i watched this girl grow up her mom and my mom are like really 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 good friends they're like one of the first people i saw um as a matter of fact a few vlogs ago we went to her sister's baby shower when they had the really cute campfire um but basically this is sugar art by amani baby the cupcake is gone i did the almond rum she does baked goods she was just out there selling cupcakes but i kid y'all not she is super talented she makes all the cakes girl you looking for like a custom cake and the cake is good she had did the cake for her sister's baby shower and when i tell y'all it was like one of them fire cakes where you burn it and then it showed a picture inside she do all of that so be sure if you are looking for a cake if you are in jacksonville make sure you hit her up i don't know about no prices i i be telling y'all i'm just telling y'all this stuff once i give y'all the reference i ain't got nothing to do with it okay 
I will say the cupcake was good. The cake was good. I don't know how all that other stuff worked, but if you are looking for a custom cake in Jacksonville, I definitely recommend this young lady. This next person is Lanisha Harden. Um, she's a personal chef and low key, high key. She's really like the fam for real. She does, she has a crazy hot dog stand. I did not get a hot dog yesterday because I genuinely didn't want a hot dog, but I had some of her juice to grow that juice was good. Um, and she is Exotic Hot Dogs Inc. Um, and she is for real like my baby sister. Like I can't even make this up. <laughs> My mom and her dad used to date for years, like for years. So we like grew up together and I had not seen Nisha in years. So to see her um, and just working in her zone and, you know, in business is just amazing. I've heard really good things about the hot dog stand. I have yet tried one, but I will say that juice, fat. But um, I have been looking for like the African hammered um, bangles. I have just been starting like an extraordinary jewelry collection so it's like different random pieces that i find so these are actually a couple of brass bracelets i got this from my great onyx mode so she sells like all type of really cute african pieces so you're gonna find rings earrings bracelets like this she does the waist beads um one of my waist beads that i wear right to this day i actually got from her be sure that you check out these ladies support them if they're if i showed you guys if i showed you something that you would be so inclined to buy because supporting black business is something that i like to do anyway girl at this point i done been on the phone it's 8 39 <sighs> i guess i'm gonna just work on this edit because it's like girl what's up it is wednesday okay i just got off work <coughs> girl i just left tropical smoothie they got this uh smoothie what this is the island punch when i tell you this mug is so freaking good like i just wanted something cold and refreshing mm. go try this and let me know what you think anyway it's Wednesday. I just clocked out from work and I'm about to clock in as my part-time job as a thrifter um, because I have an event to go to this Sunday. My girl Lisa, hey girl, by the time y'all watching this, I'm going to be at the event. But um, per usual, I waited until the last minute to figure out what I wanted to wear and I ain't going to even lie. I, I, so, okay. The dress code. <laughs> so the the dress code or the theme is nude and browns. Um, and I was going to buy a jumpsuit, but I was like, you know what? I did wait till the last minute. I ain't gonna even lie. But then I was thinking, like, maybe I should get creative because it was just gonna be a jumpsuit very plain jane it was cute now of course but i was like what if i like really tested my fashion abilities and thrifted an outfit between thrifting and finding pieces locally because they say now they say now it ain't on you it's in you so i am going to pull up put together a look today okay yeah. i'm gonna put together a look today um i'm gonna start with a couple of thrift stores to kind of see what i come up with but yeah i want y'all to come with me we're gonna figure out what we gonna wear to this event um we'll see so the first stop i hate to be that one that's like doing this in y'all mouth y'all face in y'all ear It's so freaking good i really like have no earthy idea what i want to wear so i am literally just going with the vibes and seeing what i come up with so what i was telling y'all is the first stop is going to be the goodwill i'm going to check out this one on beach boulevard um so let's just go in here and see what we can see It's time for the circulator. 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 It
don't know how to dance but can lean And make the ghetto bitch put the hands on their knees I don't know how to dance but can lean I don't know how to dance but can lean I don't know how to dance but can lean And make the ghetto bitch put the hands on their knees Make the ghetto bitch put the hands on their knees Make the ghetto bitch put the hands on their knees JP, I'm fly with it C-I-T, ride with it Right cheek, left cheek with it Fun size on fleek with it Slim, thick, petite with it She wet with it, keep missing One time for my freak bitches After hour, no sleep bitches When I get my freak on They throwing money like me chong When I do my dance Money fight, these niggas throwing bands Jay-Z, I ain't playing Lil' bitch, I don't want your man But these rich niggas throwing paper I was not a good girl today First of all, okay I did find something to wear, but y'all are gonna have to stay tuned to next episode to figure it out. Um, I ended up getting way too much stuff at the thrift store. And some of that stuff, as I'm getting it, I'm like, I don't even need this, but it was cute. And honestly, I think I ended up spending like $60 at the thrift store. And the pieces that I got, it's like no way that I would have spent only $60 on the stuff. So that's the justification. And I know that I'm gonna wear the stuff I hope I'm not being delusional. Came over here to Marshall's. As soon as I walk in, they had a skirt that went with one of the shirts that I had um, bought from the thrift store, right? So I had brought the shirts in the store with me, two of them that I got to see how they would look. So, okay, fine. I got the skirt, but then I saw this little, this little one too, literally a one and a two. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not leaving that here. I'm leaving here with something. Like, I'm not leaving that here. This is why, y'all, I can't. This is literally why I can't go in the mall and shop because I really have a problem. So long story short, I'm a shopaholic. I realized I am not in a space that I can just go in the store right now. It's like sending a crackhead. I've been, I've been doing so good this year. I've been doing so good compared to how I normally shop. I've been doing really freaking good, but I'm still a crack addict in recovery. You understand what I'm saying? So you can't, you can't put a crackhead and they ain't, you just got to stay out the crack house. And that's just what I got to do, baby. I'm not even finna show y'all what I got because this is definitely gonna be an outfit moment. And I know when I wear it, y'all gonna be like, where you got it from, where you got it from? I'm sorry, I'm gatekeeping today. I'm a gatekeep today. And you know what? I'm not going to get key. I'm, I ain't going to even get key. I just don't feel like... I've, I really feel ashamed right now. So, I'm going to just go ahead and end today's video. Um, Make sure you stay tuned. I know you will, girl. Hey, make... Don't... I don't even know what to say right now. Just stay tuned. I'm going to show you all the outfit next video. So, this will be like a to be continued to see what I ended up picking up. Because I still need to figure out um, accessories or whatever. But let me tell y'all something. Marshalls is a very dangerous place for a shopaholic. Because, baby, they got all type. They got like the, they got like cute little replicas of that coach Brooklyn bag. I'm going to have to come back. It's, it was a lot of stuff that I saw that was just not in the budget today. Like, I, you know, I just can't. I just can't. And I'm just not, baby. But I definitely got that little two-piece situation. Like, I just, mm-mm. I would have felt some kind of way if I would have left that at the house. Like, that's, it's giving that come on the brunch with, I don't even know with who, because I'm so funny acting, I don't even be, it's giving, when I do go somewhere, I'm, it's giving real cute. It's giving clueless, cute, cute fall fashion. Okay? And it wasn't going to be there. Even the girl at the register was like, yeah, this not going to be here. So we're just not even going to take the risk. Because there was no risk to take. It was in my hand. I had the money. It got spent. And, okay. Okay? I just need to go and process why I just did that and you know I work real hard and that was the thought process like I work real hard so I'm gonna treat myself to something fuck it just fuck it <laughs>